it is time to cut down a tree. And so I'm gearing up the Jolly Rancher here before I go to, I can't get in there with the Suburbosaurus or Cousin Eddie behind me here. And so I, the Jolly Rancher is the only way to get through. I got a small trail at the far end of the property. And so I'm just going through the laundry list here. I got my chainsaw. Oh, I need goggles. Goggles Paisano. And I need my earmuffs. I got the gloves. Jeez, thank goodness I'm doing this video here, this intro to cutting a tree down. Uh, this, this saved my life, maybe. It's, it's all your fault. <laughs> I could have died a miserable death here and lost my hearing, too, on the process. And, uh, and an eyeball or two. So, yes, okay, I got my chain. I got to drag it back to the mill. The easy E. And gloves, liquid, liquids, no. It's not the good stuff like you'd want it to be, but uh, it's just water. Chain, okay, I am going to get, I'll continue this video. I'm going to get the rest of the goody goods to make this tree. It's a dead tree. It's not a live tree. It's, it's, it's not Memorex. It's a dead tree. And I asked my forestry buddy, I've been doing it for 30 some years as a professional. Why do trees die? Why do trees die? And he just gave me a stupid look. He's like, yeah, it could be anything. Who cares? You've got plenty of trees. You know, what are you doing? Uh, it could be bugs, the sun, the soil. It, uh, he just didn't even phase him on that. So it freaked me out, though. I'm like, why did, he, why did that tree die? It was a big, healthy tree, too. It's one of the nicest ones on the property. So you'll see soon. I'm coming back.